everyone, me again, back for the third time. By the way, no one is more shocked than I am. Um, as you can see, I've moved over a little bit today because I feel like this is a little bit nicer. I'm a bit more comfortable over here. Um, so, today I'm going to do you a little video. It is a bit of a haul video. Um, I have just come back from London and I was lucky enough to go um, to a couple of really lovely shops. Um, and grab a few bits so I'm really really excited um, this is mainly NARS um, I went a little bit crazy for NARS <laughs> um, but um, there is also a couple of other bits in there as well so I'm not going to ramble too much I just want to get in there and get showing you what I got so as always thank you so much for watching um, if you do enjoy the video please please subscribe to me at the bottom I'd be so appreciative of that um, and give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed um, and as always I love reading your comments down below so please get involved so I'm not gonna ramble any longer the first thing I bought from NARS is the um, total replenishing eye cream which looks like this I'm loving it so far, you know. I have used all of this, by the way. I can't, I can't do that thing where I leave it in the packaging and wait. I might, I might be able to if I become a bit more organised and buy things and film straight away. But anyway, so this is their eye cream. I am really funny with eye creams. Um, I use the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair and the Clinique Pep Start normally. And to be honest, I don't really like either of them. I just use them because I know I should use something. Um, this one's really nice. I love the packaging other than anything else. It's like an iridescent white packaging. Um, and it smells, it just smells really nice. Um, it hasn't got any um, actual scent in it, which I really like because I think sometimes that can make it a little bit, I don't know, irritating. So it says here that it's for fine lines, puffiness and dark circles. Um, I have found actually that it's made my under eyes really hydrated normally. I'll be honest, they feel really like, I don't know, just dry and horrible. Um, and I don't feel like I'm actually giving them enough to prevent any aging, whereas I really like this. And I've been religiously using it for about the last four days. And I have found that I am absolutely relig religiously using it, which I don't normally do with eye cream, which is probably not the best thing to do. But if you don't really like something, I do find you're just like, oh, I don't really care if I use it or not. Whereas I'm really, really loving this. So... Um, if you are looking for a new eye cream and you, like me, find that you get a little bit irritated or you need a lot of hydration, this is really worth a go and I think that's £38, so I'm loving that. I'm going to kind of go through categories of what I've been buying because I think that's going to be the easiest thing. So um, the next one is complexion. Um, everyone knows that NARS complexion is like so good. It's it's without a doubt one of the best ones um, sort of out there for complexion because I think all of their products really stand up. The first thing I bought was another bottle of my beloved NARS Sheer Glow, which is this one. And I got that in the shade Santa Fe. Um, as I was saying in my, not my last video, was it my last one? I can't remember. Whichever video it was where I was rambling about sheer glow. Um, I had the shade Mont Blanc and I was finding it far too light for my skin. I'm actually wearing Santa Fe today and I find it such a better colour. I did buy a little pump for it as well because, as I mentioned, tipping it out wasn't working for me. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this. As always, much happier with the colour of the Santa Fe. I can't really say any, any more on it. If you really want to see my full views on my NARS Sheer Glow, please go back and watch my favourite beauty products ever video because in there I'll give you a lot more excitement about this. Uh, next up, I bought a couple of concealers from NARS. I haven't tried these before, um, but I have heard a lot about them. I bought the Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is the one in the stick. And I got that in the shade Vanilla. Uh, and then I got their new Soft Matte Complete Concealer, which looks like this. And I got that in the shade Creme Brulee, which is a little bit darker. So I bought the Radiant Creamy Concealer for under my eyes and the Soft Matte Complete Concealer for any blemishes. My skin at the moment is awful. Absolutely awful. That's why my hair is tied back, because I feel like I need my skin to breathe, you know, and just be out there and, you know, try to recollect itself. Because at the moment, it's absolutely appalling. This is magic. They put sorcery in this product. Product, product, product. Um, 
I have never used a concealer that is so effective at hiding blemishes. Often when they start to heal my um, on my skin, if I put anything over them, they go a little bit grey. This takes every inch of the coloration out of the spot so that it actually just blends in with my skin tone. Um, the other thing is it's in like a pot and it's like a cream consistency like so. Normally I find these really drying and that they accentuate um, any blemishes when they do start to sort of dry up and heal. This one doesn't do that at all. I will buy this probably forever. I don't think I'm ever going to find one I love more than this. If you found one, if you've tried this and found one that you like better, please can you leave it in the comments because um, I don't believe that you're going to find anything better than this, but I would love to hear um, if you have. And then I've be, um, I've been using the Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is like a cult product. People talk about this so much. I've been using this under my eyes. I love it because it still gives a really good coverage, but it's really brightening. Because as I say, if I get a little bit dry under the eyes, there's nothing worse than using the concealer and it looking chalky. And this doesn't do that, so I'm really, really happy with it. I'm also really happy with the colour. I was concerned that vanilla might be too light because I know that their um, shade down from that Chantilly, which is the palest one, would just be too much for me. Um, I am quite fair, but I don't like to use sort of ghostly products. But this under my eyes is actually a really flattering shade, so I'm really glad that I got that colour. And last, but by no means least, in complexion, I bought the Light Reflecting Translucent Powder, which is in the pot like this, and that is in the shade Translucent Crystal. Um, I am a big fan of loose powder. I like the way that it makes my skin look, and I like the control you have with the product, but I hate travelling with it. Normally, I'm looking at you, Clinique. I have a Clinique loose powder that is appallingly bad in transition so wherever I take it it just leaks everywhere no matter how tight I do it up no matter how much um sort of like I could probably sellotape it and it would still go everywhere it is a nightmare and so much comes out whereas this one doesn't do that this one also doesn't give flashback and um, it's amazing if you go a little bit crazy with blusher or bronzer or eyeshadow and um, it really helps to tone down that color and it doesn't leave me really matte because I've spoken about this before. I do not like really matte finish. And this just does exactly what I want it to do. I'm wearing it today and as you can see I've still got like a gleam to my skin. I'm not completely matte. So I really, really like that. I can't see it lasting me very long though because I feel like there's already some that's gone missing. Um, I actually bought this separately from the other NARS products. I bought this um, at a shop called Fabled, which um, I've heard of online. We actually went to a birthday event for Fabled on Tottenham Court Road. They've just got the one shop. Um, and it was just such a lovely evening. It was really, really great. Um, there was some amazing brands in there and there was just a lot going on and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so I picked one of these up because I didn't get it when I went to the Nars Boutique in Covent Garden and I felt a bit upset by it. So I went back and got it from there. So yeah, I'm really enjoying using that at the moment. So I'll keep going with it. Uh, the next one is something that everyone in the world owns. I don't really know what I can say about it. It is the NARS Orgasm. Looks like this in the shade Orgasm. And it is gorgeous. It is this beautiful kind of rose gold shade. It's like a pinky peach and it's got like a gold fleck running through it. This just makes you look really naturally glowing. And at first when I sort of read about this and, um, you know, you see it and hear about it so much, I thought it was a big marketing ploy, if I'm honest, that they were saying that it was suitable for every skin tone. But now I've seen it and seen it used on other skin tones, I can vouch for the fact that it is very flattering for everyone. Um, I really like it. I don't know why it's taking me so long to get hold of it. I already own Super Orgasm, weirdly, but I do prefer this one because it doesn't have the big flecks of shimmer running through it so I don't really know what more to tell you on this because you probably already own it anyway so I won't keep you for too long on that. Um, I'm gonna go on to lips. I bought two um, lip products and they are one of the um, original lipsticks which are in packaging like this and I got that in the shade Dolce Vita. It's that one. If I can off which is this 
colour here. It's a really gorgeous nude. I'll just swatch that for you quickly. I don't wear a lot of nude lipstick, but I really like this one because it's nude without being, like, I don't know. I don't really like really skin tone nudes. I don't want to look like I'm wearing concealer on my lips, but it's a very gorgeous, there we go, pinky nude colour. It's quite sheer, which I also like because it's quite natural. Um, and it's a really nice formula because it's quite, um, quite moisturising and nourishing, but it doesn't just completely wipe off. Oh my goodness, the ice cream van is here. I should have known he comes at this time every day. There we go. He turned his music off. He'll probably put it back on again in a minute, so sorry about that. The next thing, um, lip-wise, that I have is one of the Velvet Matte Lip Pencils, which looks like this. And that is in the shade Train Blur. I think that's how you would say it. Um, I like this colour and I can't wait to wear it in sort of autumn, winter. I'm going to put that in there. So it's a really gorgeous, like, purpley, deep shade. Um, and I have tried it on, but I think at the moment, because of the, lip, the sort of makeup looks I'm wearing, it's not really translating. So I'm really excited to try it when it comes to autumn winter so it is that gorgeous deep plummy colour um, it's right up my street as soon as it gets to autumn I love really deep colours um, so I really really am looking forward to wearing that with maybe like a gold eye um, I like the formula of this actually because as mentioned several thousand times um, I don't really like matte <laughs> and this is matte but it's not really uncomfortable and it's really easy to apply as well because it's in that pencil form you can be quite precise with it which I think with a deep lip is so important because you really don't want it to look messy um, so yeah I really like that I'm going to move on to eyeshadows I have bought three from NARS the first one is a single eyeshadow I bought I love these by the way look how cute they are their packaging I bought this in the shade Persia is that one which is a gorgeous orange shade it's like a burnt orange which I absolutely love I'll just do a little swatch of that for you so it looks like this and I'll just show you on my hand as well so it is so lovely um, I'm really into like the orangey shades at the moment because I don't actually have a lot of them. I often buy just brown and boring colours. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really liking that. And I really like to wear it um, with like a smoky eye, just as a bit of a pop of colour. And so yeah, I really, really like that. And it's the nicest orange I've found because it is completely matte. So I don't have any of that issue with shimmer, which I think is nice. Because if I want to go slightly above um, my crease, which I generally do because I've got quite hooded eyes, I do find that that one is quite good for that and then I bought two of the dual intensity eyeshadows which are the ones that you can use wet or dry I have got the shade Psycharax which is a beautiful black I wouldn't really say this one's dual intensity if I'm being honest it's got an, a very light shimmer running through it but it's just a black eyeshadow um, it is really pretty and very pigmented again just gonna pop that on actually this with the Persia would probably be so pretty um, a little bit again a little bit more autumnal but yeah I do I really like that and I do need a black eyeshadow so that one will be really good because it's nice and pigmented but this is my favorite this is in the shade Pacifier this one <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying them right to be honest this is like a green, um, I don't know if you can see that, like a green duochrome. If I hold it like that, actually, you can kind of see the, sh the shimmer running through it and the, the changing of colours. Um, this is just so pretty. Like, it's really mermaidy. Again, I love this with Persia. I think it's so lovely. And it is this. Just get some up. Really gorgeous colour. And if I swatch that for you. And as I said, these can be used wet or dry. So actually dry, they're not so pigmented. But when you um, 
use them with a wet brush. I'm just gonna kind of move that so you can see. That looks amazing. When you use them um, dry, you get quite a nice um, sheer wash of the colour. Um, when you use them wet, you get like a really impactful look. So I think that's really cool that you can actually use them both ways without destroying them. Because I hate that when you use like a damp brush to try and get a little bit more pigment. But then your eyeshadow kind of gets that little film over it. But they don't do that. So I think that's really amazing. Um, and I really, like, I really like them. I don't have anything like that at the moment. And I love the other colours that they do as well. So I think they'll actually be something that I invest more in. Um, so I have really enjoyed using them. The um, other thing that I bought, it's a little bit old news now, as always with me. Um, but when we were at Fabled, um, they had some really great offers going on. So I went and bought the penultimate Naked Heat palette. Oh, if I move it back for you, there we go. Um, and you know what? I've got a few of the Naked palettes. Um, I haven't got the original. That, yeah, that's the only one I haven't got. I haven't got the original one. Who knows why? Again, a bit late to the party. This is without a doubt the strongest naked palette that Urban Decay have ever done. It is really pigmented. The colours are beautiful. It is blendable. Um, and all the colours just go so nicely together. It is like this, which is gorgeous. So you go from the really like pale shades here all the way down to the deepest. They've got a really nice selection because you've got one, two, three, four quite shimmery shades and then you've got the rest that are pretty much matte. Um, I'm wearing this on my eyes today and I absolutely love it. My favourite colours, no, I think I've just got one favourite colour, is the He Devil, which is this one just here. I really like that. Um, Again, I don't have much like this and I thought the Persia was quite different because obviously it's like a bright burnt orange whereas these are quite a lot darker and again in the winter um, I'm going to love wearing them and I think they're really complimentary because I've got quite sort of greeny blue eyes and fair skin and I think these just look so nice. Um, I also really like the packaging of this um, because this is like quite similar. I'm going to grab it. Two the Naked Smoky, which looks like this. They are pretty, the heat is slightly thicker, but I love the packaging of these two. I think that's the other reason I've never really bought the original, because I don't actually really like the packaging. I think it looks flimsy. Um, and the Naked 2 and 3 are a bit, they just don't feel as sturdy. So I really like the packaging. I haven't used the brush, it's still in the, like plastic wrap but it's got like a blending side or is that blending should we take it out and find out okay now i was completely lying so we've got there a flat side brush and then more of a blending brush um i've got to be honest i don't often use these i've kept them but I don't really use them. The only time that I might use it is if I'm using like a um, an eyeshadow pencil type thing and just to quickly blend that in. But other than that, I wouldn't bother. Um, I, as I said, people will say that they are worth the hype, they're not worth the hype. For me, I'm really glad I bought it, I really like it and I'm gonna love using it. Um, so for me, it was absolutely worth the money, but it's such a personal thing. Um, I would go, if you can, because now it's out, it's so much easier, go to an Urban Decay counter um, and give it a, a try and a swatch for yourself because if they're colors that you quite like, um, you know, why not go and give it a try? And the thing I do like as well is that Urban Decay is easy to get hold of because you can go and get your like um, Anastasia palettes or your Violet Voss palettes, but to be honest with you, you can't swatch them. And for me personally, I like to be able to see what I'm getting because if I get one in the post and I swatch it and I don't like it, there's nothing I can do. So that's the one thing I really love about um, Urban Decay. The last thing I've bought is quite boring, but I'm gonna show you anyway because I love it. Um, it is the Dr. Broner's Lavender Organic Hand Sanitizer, which looks like this. I bought this in Planet Organic. It is in a spray, which I love, and it's just, it's amazing. It smells really quite strongly of lavender, so if you don't like lavender, don't buy it. But I sanitize my hands a lot. Um, I work with makeup. 
you have to have your hands sanitized all the time um, and I hate gel sanitizers because the more you use them it builds up like a layer and they kind of go all bitty and it's just horrible and also if you sanitize your hands before eating often it makes your food taste like crap this doesn't do that so i'm really really happy it was expensive it was five pounds and um, but at the moment they're buy one get one half price and i think you can find them online as well um but i just really like it i think it smells really nice um, and clean on the hands because I think if you're applying products to somebody else's face and your hands are very close to them there's nothing worse than someone coming towards you with like smelly hands or hands that haven't been cleaned effectively enough that seems to really work and I really really like it so I'm going to keep one here and I'm going to keep one in my brush belt as well so I've got them everywhere but that is everything so it wasn't the biggest oh, it's, it, it's quite a big haul there's quite <laughs> there's a fair amount of stuff there that I probably didn't need but um, I'm really really happy with it so that's everything that I bought I really hope that you enjoyed um, having a little nosy through what I spent my time in London doing which evidently was shopping um, as I said um, I went to the amazing fabled store which is on Tottenham Court Road so if you're ever around I believe it is only open Monday to Friday but if you're ever around definitely pop in because honestly it was amazing the service was second to none I've never had service so good as I had there um, and the brands they stock there were really wonderful as well so it's quite Sephora type place it's the most like Sephora you're going to get in the UK so definitely give it a shout um, if you can get there if not they are online at, I think it's just fabled.co.uk and I think you also at the moment can get 15% off your first order so you know it's well worth it um, and the rest of the products were bought from the NARS boutique in Covent Garden which again is so lovely if you can give it um, a go if you're ever around London it's so nice and welcoming um, they've got amazing staff and obviously amazing products that you can give a go so it's definitely worth it Oh, and then Planet Organic for my hand sanitizer, which I'm loving. Um, but it's definitely, yeah, all of those products I've bought, I'm so happy with. Because sometimes I find it's so horrible when you kind of pick stuff up and then you get it home and you're like, oh, I don't, I don't really like, I don't really know why I bought this. And um, so I'm really chuffed with it. If you wanted to see any tutorials or any looks using these products, please let me know. As I said, I'm wearing the Urban Decay Naked Heat on my eyes today, um, and I'm wearing sort of my NARS complexion products. Um, on my face but I'm actually wearing an Urban Decay lipstick because I thought it would go better with my eye look <laughs> so um, that is everything as always um, please give the video a thumbs up please subscribe and please leave me some comments down below it's been really really lovely to have you all watching um, and again as I say I'll be back again next week thank you for watching guys bye